Using an AI note taker could drastically improve your business's productivity, but which one is right for you and your business? In today's video, we're going to be discussing the main features on the free versions of three different AI note taking tools, Otter, Blue Dot and Fathom. So let's jump straight in with Otter. First and foremost, as you'll see on the screen, Otter can join your Microsoft Teams, your Zoom, and your Google Meet meetings. And as you can see here, it will record, transcribe, and summarize the meeting in real time. To allow Otter to join a meeting, you can either connect your calendar, or if you've started an ad hoc meeting, then you can simply copy the meeting link and paste it into the following box on the top right-hand corner back in Otter, and then simply just hit record. As you'll see on the screen, you'll then get 30 minutes of transcription for free. If you then go back into Otter once the meeting's finished, you'll see that the transcription is there live. As you'll see, I'm still speaking and Otter is still transcribing. But one thing to note about Otter is that it won't record your video, it will just record your audio. So when you go back into the website at the end of the meeting, you'll see the transcript, but don't expect to see a video there. So a few things again there just to highlight that Otter only records the audio. You can also only transcribe for up to 30 minutes of a meeting. And on the free version, of Otter, you get up to 300 monthly meeting minutes. And one final feature worth noting with Otter is that at the top you'll see import. If you don't want Otter to transcribe a meeting in your calendar or an ad hoc meeting, you can also import an audio file or a video and Otter will transcribe it for you. And then finally with Otter, one thing that really sets it apart is the support of a mobile app. And this allows you to record meetings in person as well as online meetings. So moving on to Blue Dot, and Blue Dot focuses on Google Meet. However, it does also support the web version of Microsoft Teams, and it offers Zoom integration. To record a Google Meet meeting with Blue Dot, you'll just need to download the Chrome extension. Instructions for this are all on the website, which is linked in the video description. Then once you start a meeting, all you have to do is click on the extension in the top right-hand corner of the screen, select what type of notes you want and your microphone, and then start capture. And then this is the thing that really separates Blue Dot from its competitors. Because once you've added it to the meeting, there's no physical bot in the meeting for everyone else to see. Everything just happens in the background seamlessly. And unlike Otter, Blue Dot will record both your audio and your video. And then once you end the meeting, your transcription and your video recording will appear in a new window almost instantly. With the free version of Blue Dot, you do get five meetings per lifetime. However, you can record up to one hour per meeting. And you'll also see here that Blue Dot offers Slack integration, which could be really useful for your business or your team. So now we're on to Fathom and they have a free forever package which offers the following. So firstly, it's worth noting that Fathom was first designed for Zoom, but as you'll see, it does also now connect to Google Me and to Microsoft Teams as well. And the standout features of Fathom are that it does offer unlimited recordings, unlimited storage, unlimited recording length, and also unlimited transcription. Connecting Fathom to your meeting looks very similar to connecting Blue Dot. If, like me, you're using Google Meet, then you'll see at the bottom of the screen the Fathom logo. Simply click on this logo, and then after a little while, you'll see a notification on the bottom right-hand side of the screen asking you to admit Fathom to the meeting. Once you've clicked admit, you'll then see a bot in the meeting like it's another person. And probably one of the best things about this tool is that you can pause and resume a meeting, which could be useful if you're discussing really sensitive information, for example. And to finish, it's worth also doing a short comparison of the AI insight and transcription features available with each tool after you finish a meeting. And this time we're going to start with Fathom. Firstly, Fathom allows you to highlight a section of your meeting in real time. So for example, you could highlight a part of the meeting as being really positive because you then want to come back to it and review it in full when the meeting's ended. Fathom also has the option to ask questions where you can then get almost instant answers. But one point of difference between this tool and some of the other ones available is that the action items aren't automatically generated unless you have a paid version. So onto Blue Dot and you'll see once your transcript is open that there's an insights tab. And one of the best insight features that Blue Dot offers is the ability to see who spoke the most during the meeting. But possibly the best feature of Blue Dot is the AI chat where you can ask questions and the chat will reply to you almost instantly based on what was spoken about in the meeting. As you'll see, Otter does offer action items in its transcript on its free plan. But one really useful feature is the AI chatbot, which you'll see on the right-hand side of the screen. So once the meeting's finished, you can go back into Otter and ask any question to this chatbot. And as you can see, the chatbot will bring up quite a comprehensive answer. And finally, each Monday, Otter will send you a summary of your meetings for the previous week. And that summary will include things like how many conversations you had in that week and how many times you were mentioned in other people's comments. So hopefully that's given you a broad overview of the three tools we spoke about today, Fathom, Otter, and Blue Dot, and what features are available on their free plans. Now 
it's just time for you to go away and have a play with each tool to see which one could be right for you and your team. For more information on Blue Dot, head to the link in the video description and I'll see you in the next video.